Hi there, this is Ranjit and welcome to weekly tech news and analysis and all the tech happenings and important news in the tech world this week. And uh, the first thing is that the HTC has uh, launched uh, the HTC U11 Squeeze smartphone in uh, India. As you can see from the image, uh, they call this the liquid display. The back and front are both glass. Uh, but in terms of specs, uh, this is a feature of fe uh, packed uh, smartphone. It is having the Snapdragon 835 chipset. And the variant that is being sold in India comes with 6 gigabytes of uh, RAM and 128 gigabytes of uh, internal storage. And this will be priced in India at uh, rupees 52,000. Uh, there was also another variant of this HTC U that comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. But HTC didn't launch that. We are only going to get the 6 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte. Uh, variant and moving to other specs it has a 5.5 inch quad hd ips lcd screen and it still retains uh, this uh, htc boom speaker so you get that stereo kind of uh, effect with this uh, smartphones and uh, they call this uh, again the design this is the liquid uh, design and it has that reflective uh, surface uh, that you are going to get apart from that the important thing about this smartphone is regarding the camera it has a 12 megapixel rear facing camera uh, with a 1.4 uh, micron pixel. That means it can gather in a lot of light. And according to HTC, as you can see from the slide, uh, they uh, DxO mark rated at as 90, which is the highest for a smartphone. For example, if you recall, the Google Pixel actually had a DxO mark of 89, but now this one is having 90. So the camera performance should be actually really good. Moving to the front facing camera, it has a 16 megapixel front facing uh, camera and it has this unique uh, thing known as HTC squeeze and uh, if you just squeeze the phone uh, you can have actions with the same again as you can see it comes with three different colors but in India they'll be launching the uh, amazing silver and the black variant and again uh, available uh, uh, it's going to be launched next last week of June in retail stores pricing at 52,000. So do let me know what do you think about this HTC 11 squeeze. Do you think uh, HTC should have also launched the 4 gigabyte uh, RAM model that comes with 64 GB of storage? That way they could have priced it at around 45,000. Would love to know your thoughts about the same. I personally feel they should have launched even the 4 gigabyte RAM model because even uh, this HTC uh, 11 also has a micro SD card. So storage should not be an issue. Now moving to the next story. This is uh, regarding the uh, Nokia. Nokia actually announced the Nokia 3, Nokia 5 and Nokia 6 in uh, India. Uh, the Nokia 3 is available as of now and this price at rupees 9,499. But the Nokia 5 and Nokia 6, which I frankly feel are more uh, better handsets uh, that come with the Snapdragon 430 chipset, won't be available till uh, July. Uh, for example, the Nokia 5 uh, will be available from July 7 onwards and will be priced at 12,899. And the Nokia 6, uh, which is their current flagship as of now, will be available from July 16 onwards for Rs. 14,999. And the Nokia 6 will be sold online via Amazon, whereas the Nokia 3 and Nokia 5 will be sold in the offline market. Again, I've already made a separate video that covers all the other details. I'll have the link for that one in the YouTube show notes now moving to the next story uh, this is a interesting story this is by Qualcomm and this is about smart uh, speakers Qualcomm this week announced uh, this new smart speaker initiative that they have and uh, this is a smart speaker for example if you recall Amazon Alexa or even Google uh, home speakers and the upcoming Apple home pod speakers these are sort of smart speakers and these can listen to you for example the Apple home pod has Siri integration Google uh, speakers have that uh, Google voice assistant but now Qualcomm has announced new chip and Qualcomm says that this new smart speaker platform will enable other manufacturers to uh, create smart speakers for example there are these uh, smart speakers using the Qualcomm technology 
will be having voice recognition for example they can have multiple mics just like voice recognition that we get with the amazon alexa and the google home speakers so that option will be there and it will also also have that always on listing for example it, you can have a hot keyword like let's say okay google and it wakes up and it will be in two flavors uh, uh, running on linux and android and it will be a feature of a packed uh, smart speaker it will support both wi-fi and uh, bluetooth and other uh, the, by ha opening up this uh, chip uh, other manufacturers for example can now uh, integrate smart uh, speakers uh, but again uh, this uh, was just announced and the availability of these smart speakers will start sometime in early 2018 so i'm hoping uh, due to this we might get some affordable intelligent smart speakers with the voice technology in 2018 because frankly speaking the apple home pod is about 350 us dollars and even the google home speakers are pretty expensive so hoping to see affordable smart speakers uh, in uh, 2018 now moving to the next uh, story about microsoft uh, has also launched the xbox one x which is their latest uh, gaming console this comes after the xbox one s that is currently being sold and according to uh, microsoft uh, this is one of the most powerful gaming consoles in the market and uh, it is based on the Microsoft Scorpio engine and it is having a 12 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and also the GPU is actually very powerful on this. Microsoft claims that the GPU on this can push uh, up to 6 teraflops. That's huge because the current Xbox One uh, tops out at around 1.3 teraflops and the uh, Sony PS4 Pro top side at about 4.6 teraflops so this is going to be one of the most powerful gaming consoles and this will also natively according to microsoft support 4k and 4k gaming up to 60 fps so and it will also have a, a 4k uh, what do you say uh, drive blu-ray drive so you can watch ultra hd movies also on this one and regarding the availability of this one as of now for india they haven't announced when it will be launched but in us it will be launching on november 7th for us 500 dollars so certainly a very pricey console one of the most expensive consoles out there do let me know what do you think about the xbox one x again for more info on the xbox one x i have already posted a dedicated video link for that video will be there in the youtube uh, show notes now moving to another thing uh, the google daydream uh, vr kit was launched in india now and uh, again this is a high-end vr kit and it comes with the bluetooth Tooth controller and it also has a trackpad but again uh, beware that not all uh, what do you say android devices are daydream compatible so just check for example as of now the google pixel and pixel xl and the moto z are uh, what do you say daydream uh, for, uh, ready uh, and uh, uh, according to google the samsung galaxy s8 and the s8 plus will also be daydream uh, dream ready and this is going to be sold in india via flipkart for 6499 so finally these uh, devices are now available in india and you can purchase them now moving to the last story this is uh, regarding the samsung galaxy j7 samsung announced the j7 max and the j7 pro in india first let's talk about the j7 uh, max which is slightly more uh, affordable and uh, this one will have a 5.7 inch 1080p screen but it's an ips great uh, screen guys and uh, this will have a, a special version of uh, samsung pay they are touting it as uh, the pay mini and this is not a full functional samsung pay but using this you can have digital wallets uh, for example uh, paytm and uh, bhim app and stuff uh, using this one and apart from that uh, here are the general specs uh, for this one and this is powered by the mediatek uh, helio p20 uh, will have 4 gigabytes of ram 32 gb of internal storage and uh, the pricing for this one is 17,900 in India will be available from June 20th onwards. I was uh, mostly interested in this new one that is the Galaxy J7 Pro. Uh, this is slightly more expensive. This is, will be costing about 20,900 in India and this comes with a 5.5 inch uh, 1080p Super AMOLED uh, screen and uh, it will be powered by the Exynos 7870 uh, octa-core processor and this comes with surprisingly 3 gigabytes of RAM but 64 GB of internal storage and this one will have proper support for uh, Samsung Pay. That means you can just yeah, put in your credit card, you don't have to take out your credit card, just tap on the 
pay machine i will pay so this is the j7 pro will be the uh, what do you say most affordable smartphone by samsung that will have full integration of samsung uh, pay and uh, it will have a 13 megapixel rear facing and a 13 megapixel front facing camera availability for of this device will be from mid july onwards so guys uh, uh, these were the important um, uh, news and things that were launched in India this week. Hope you found this weekly tech news uh, helpful. If you found it helpful, I'll appreciate it if you can click the like button. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.